Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Earlier today at KICC, Azimio leaders met various elected leaders under the Azimio umbrella. And Martha Karua gave out some remarks, remarks that I want us to have a look here, for they are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Let's have a look at Martha Karua. Standard Digital, Martha Karua, our victory is coming home. And then if you go through the story, on the matter of election, ours is victory deferred. However, it's coming home. That's the message I have for Kenyans. Karua said on Wednesday at KICC, after Azimula Umoja, one Kenya coalition held its inaugural parliamentary group meeting. Yes. In this video, I want us to dig deep to see where the truth lies in those remarks by Martha Karua. In case you are watching us for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed. Subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. That's Martha Karua as quoted by Standard Digital speaking today at KICC. From where I sit, I fully support Martha Karua and I agree in totality with what Martha Karua is saying. And I'm saying that because it's obvious and very clear, William Ruto never won the election. It's clear this election was rigged. That's why I know it's just a matter of time. If justice is to be served for Raila's victory to be given unto him. And I'm saying that because of some reasons which are not divulge here. We have some concrete evidence suggesting that indeed Raila Odinga won this year's election. But Chebukati and some rogue IBC officials snatched that victory from Raila Molo Odinga. So I support and I'm in full agreement with what Martha Karua is saying. And just as I've been saying in my previous videos, not once or twice, I still maintain that the best option left for Raila Odinga and the Azimio team is to go to the Supreme Court. Because if they don't go to the Supreme Court, William Ruto will be sworn in as the president. And that shall have just cemented the conmanship. Rather, that shall have just <coughs> validated the fraud that Chebukati and some rogue IBC commissioners committed. Raila and Azimio should and must go to the Supreme Court of Kenya. Let the Supreme Court judges look at their evidence if they feel it's water is worth warranting an nullification of this year's presidential election, let it be nullified. I believe in justice. Let the Supreme Court serve justice upon the millions of Kenyans who woke up in the morning, casted their votes. Yes. And a good number of our fans here have been begging me and appealing to me not to reveal a lot of some information which are, I actually agree with you, I won't be revealing some very sensitive information in this forum, but we'll be, we shall be pinpointing some open blunders and biasness <laughs> we have seen so far with William, with IBC and more so of Lachibukati. And let me repeat again, ladies and gentlemen, even before the elections, a good majority of Kenyans had already seen the warning signs. Even before the election. On my side, I was giving Wafala Chibukati the benefit of doubt because I thought and felt that Wafala Chibukati was just incompetent. But from what we have seen in this election, 
it's clear Ofula Chebukati and William Ruto most likely were working together. It can't be a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen, that the same principles that William Ruto believed in are the same same principles that we saw were being advanced by Wafula Chebukati and Marjan Hussein, IBC CEO. I still remember before the election when Wafula Chebukati and Hussein, Ma Hussein Marjan, the CEO, were, being, were in some live interview, Marjan mentioned or rather talked about Mamamboga, hustlers. I hope Kenyans can still remember that. At that time, I took it just as an innocent utterance. And now look at Wafula Chibukati. Immediately after the election, when results were still trickling in, they adopted some kind of choirs. Eh? Some people could sing to us. Those are political antics of William Ruto and his team. Their politics is based on using religion to gain political mileage. And they were cleverly extending that, or rather <laughs> influencing IBC hmm, to hoodwink Kenyans by some choirs there as the results were trickling out. That alone, in my honest opinion, I'm just seeing a William Ruto ideology or principle was so strong at IBC to appoint IBC as a commission adopted some principles of William Ruto, some William Ruto principles, starting by the CEO himself who talked about Mama Boga. William Ruto has been talking about Mama Boga, the hustlers. Wafula Chibukati, as results were trickling in, he brings some choirs to sing for Kenyans. Instead of conducting a free fair election, he's bringing some people to sing gospel songs to hoodwink Kenyans. I honestly believe, ladies and gentlemen, Wafula Chibukati, from what we are seeing, and Wafula Chibukati knows this, Wafula Chibukati, you have overturned the will of Kenyans. Where you are, whether you are listening to me or not, you have overturned the will of a majority of Kenyans. And I know, Wafula Chibukati, you have overturned the will of a majority of Kenyans. And I know at one point in time, you will be made to answer to the injustice you have done to millions of Kenyans. Wafula Chibukati, the Kim's case turnout, especially from the mountain, is less than 50%. How comes the turnout on the mountain is now about 70%? Wafula Chibukati. Yes. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I honestly believe and I, tr I truly believe that something went seriously wrong with the results of the presidential election. I'm calling upon the, the good judges of the Supreme Court. Look at the results, or rather look at the case that will be brought eh, on your table. Look at it based on merit, on merit, without fear or favor. Serve justice to Kenyans because it appears very strong, powerful forces colluded and overturned the will of a majority of Kenyans. IBC itself cannot explain. Wafula Chibukati cannot explain why on the last stage of result verification, they locked out some commissioners. Some commission, commissioners could not verify or even tally results of this year's presidential election. The 32 constituencies that, constituencies that were left, Wafula Chibukati never allowed the IBC commissioners to verify those 32 constituencies because ma mainly they were from Rayo Odinga strongholds. This is why I believe the best option is the Supreme Court of Kenya. And I believe if justice is to be served, 
then Raila's victory has just been deferred. We are not just doing analysis here. We are also standing for the truth. We are standing for justice. That's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't just talk aimlessly. <laughs> we, we are talking objectively. We, we look at where the truth is and we stand with that truth. We don't just talk for the sake of talking. Let me leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight on to the point. We call it as it is without fear or favor. God bless you. God bless Kenya. In case you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya.